good morning students welcome back to physical education class of uh, class 12 today we have to continue the portions uh, or the rest portions from unit 7 physiology and uh, injuries in sports in the last two classes we discussed about physiological factors uh, determining strength flexibility and speed now the fourth one is endurance and uh, now again we have to further go with effects of exercise on cardio respiratory system and effects of uh, exercise on muscular system and moreover at the end we have to discuss about the physical changes due to aging so let's uh, discuss that what uh, what is exactly meant by the term endurance endurance means it's a physical ability or physical capacity to perform physical activity for a long duration under the condition of fatigue then or the capacity to stand with stress over a prolonged period that means stress means it is the stress that is about the body then the, the major points uh, uh, or the major factors uh, which are uh, to be discussed with endurance the first one the muscle composition so it is genetical it can be taught so we have already studied that there are two type of muscles slow twitch muscles and uh, uh, fast twitch muscles fast twitch muscles produce energy faster at the same time they get tired faster at the same time the second type slow twitch muscles they produce energy at a lower level or even slowly uh, and uh, they continue for a long period so for the longer duration activities we need the the, the, uh, the slow twitch muscles to be uh, more active so slow twitch muscles are considered to be the best for aerobic activities because they produce that uh, small level of force or small level of energy but for a long period then the second one we can see that the movement economy actually uh, when we take the case of uh, movement economy it is based upon the suitable technique or the correct technique we adopt for uh, that uh, executing a particular activity so that means if it is really suitable if it is really correct then what happens exactly that uh, correct techniques would be saving more energy and that's why we would be able to do the work for a longer period that means uh, if you uh, take an example you can see that the long run uh, sorry uh, runners that uh, the runners who are just uh, running for the longer duration or longer period longer area longer kilometers they try to avoid unnecessary movements why because that uh, movement economy would be best to them it is the best uh, uh, strategy to save energy so they just avoid doing unnecessary works or doing unnecessary movements with the body to avoid the loss of energy. The third one we can see that it is considered to be the aerobic capacity. What is exactly mean by the aerobic capacity? For a longer duration activity we can see that aerobic capacity means it is the regular energy supply required for the longer duration endurance. That means if you would be doing for the for a work for the longer period we need more energy for which we need uh, a large amount of uh, oxygen uh, required to uh, our muscles as well as organs so that is actually that uh, how uh, more oxygen would be uh, just brought in so then we have to discuss about two points that oxygen intake capacity of lungs and again oxygen transportation so that uh, what is actually actually oxygen intake capacity oxygen intake capacity means it is the uh, capacity of lungs to absorb uh, that uh, 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 oxygen and uh, to be fused with blood and uh, that means if lungs would be taking sufficient amount of oxygen and would be fusing with oxygen we have studied about the presence of hemoglobin and uh, red blood, uh, blood cells actually they work with the skin so they carry oxygen to the cells or to the muscles tissues and organs so this oxygen uh, uh, intake capacity will be really uh, necessary 
for the better aerobic capacity. That means if you want to do the aerobic capacity, aerobic capacity means to do the thing for a longer period that uh, without much stress or without much, uh, or what you can say, tiredness, without much fatigue. So that will be increased if sufficient oxygen intake capacity is there. So that oxygen intake capacity depends upon the size as well as the capacity of lungs, alveoli, as well as the ability to be fused with, ability of uh, this uh, lungs and uh, capillaries to fuse this oxygen with this uh, red uh, blood cells or hemoglobin to be absorbed uh, in an intact form and to take back up to the cells on proper time. So this is uh, considered to be oxygen intake capacity and the second one we can see that oxygen transportation. Oxygen transportation is based on absorbing ability of uh, oxygen uh, especially by blood and uh, the speed of uh, its transportation. That means how speed the blood uh, takes oxygen to the cells or uh, then uh, what would be the ability of this uh, what you can say that uh, uh, lungs to absorb oxygen and to fuse with uh, this uh, uh, blood and uh, the blood's ability to carry it to the cell. So this much part comes with oxygen transportation. So the speed of oxygen transport is related with aerobic capacity. That means aerobic capacity means in uh, total we can see that dependent upon two cases oxygen intake capacity and oxygen transportation inside the body. So and the last point that we need to discuss is with lactic acid tolerance. So we know that uh, lactic acid would be just uh, 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 would be making uh, people really lethargic. If uh, this lactic acid tolerance would not be there for a player, it is not uh, possible for him or play to sorry uh, him or her to play for a longer duration. So that is uh, this players with a lack, uh, low uh, sorry lactic acid uh, tolerance capacity have a better aerobic endurance. So that means if this uh, tolerance, uh, lactic acid tolerance is not there, it is really problematic. So we can see that uh, the endurance is uh, dependent upon major four points, muscle composition and uh, movement economy, then aerobic capacity and fourth one lactic acid tolerance. Now we need to move further to the next level of uh, learning that is aging, uh, sorry, effects of exercise on cardio respiratory system. Then first one we can see that uh, it is just uh, like I have just summed up uh, in short uh, because uh, it cannot be written all these things on the board. So that's why it is summarized. We can see that increase in stroke volume at rest. During the resting period what would be the stroke volume of stroke volume means it is the blood pumping capacity of heart okay so it is considered to be the blood pumping capacity of heart then the exercise when exercise is there or when we are doing some sort of work or when we would be uh, just uh, uh, taking the part of a particular activity by the time this uh, stroke volume would be high at the same time during the resting period this stroke volume should be a better level so that means heartbeats uh, would be of a, uh, what you can say that uh, would be reaching into a regular, uh, what you can say, tone or that means toning of heart or heart pumping while we rest or while we take uh, part in an activity. So while we take part in activity, there should be increased uh, pumping condition or the pumping should be, stroke level should be high then only sufficient oxygen can be uh, reached into each and every particular body part to do the better activity at the same time while we take goodness that uh, uh, at the same time the uh, what you can say that uh, uh, heart level or heart uh, beat or stroke level should be brought down by control and uh, it should uh, reduce the level of distribution of oxygen to the muscles so when the muscles are pressed there should be a special rhythm or a different rhythm of beating, stroke uh, volume would be there, 
or uh, when we would be doing some work the stroke volume would, would be different this difference this adjustment of our body to do such a kind of difference that we call as increased stroke volume so that means uh, during uh, for a person who would be doing regular exercises we can see that his heart would be torn as uh, that uh, a condition uh, rhythm would be there a condition stroke volume would be there so that uh, we need to that uh, to reach into that uh, uh, what we can say that uh, exactly uh, into uh, sufficient uh, increase of uh, stroke volume we need to go with regular exercises then second one lower resting heart rate so that uh, <laughs> resting heart rate uh, would be lower that is in connection with the same stroke volume itself that uh, when we would be doing something by the time increase of uh, uh, stroke volume would be there then when we would be resting the heart rate should be the heart pumping rate should be low down and uh, it is a uh, second capacity and the third one we can see that uh, this is uh, just formed because of uh, what we can say that uh, regular exercises third one or the third capacity that we can build uh, through exercises is lower blood pressure so when we take the case of uh, lower blood pressure we can see that it is considered to be the measurement of amount of pressure as heart contracts and sends blood to the uh, through the vessels to the different body parts that means especially to organs muscles and tissues so through the regular exercise we can see that the blood pressure can be lower then how is it possible blood would not be getting thickened so if the blood is really thick the movement of the blood would be slower so a person who would be doing regular exercise that is in connection with uh, what you can say that uh, uh, reducing the fat so the unnecessary fat or the uh, cal extra calories so would not be sedimented in uh, blood vessels so by that the blood vessels would be cleared and uh, uh, for a person who would be doing regular exercises his uh, what you can say that body would be really torn his capillaries would be torn and his uh, veins would be really torn and by that the uh, sufficient uh, blood movement would be there as the part of his body so when the blood uh, movement is there sufficient and uh, intake of water and uh, <coughs> doing uh, this uh, exercise reduces the fat content by that the blood uh, would be getting a bit looser so that the blood pressure comes down so lower uh, blood pressure is considered to be uh, the benefit of a person who does regular exercise then cardiac uh, output uh, increases what is exactly meant by the cardiac output cardiac output means when we take the case of uh, this pumping blood so the blood arteries uh, would be blood uh, actually when the blood flow uh, increases according to the size of the blood vessels so the circulatory structure uh, constrict uh, that means uh, when we take the case of uh, this uh, circulatory structure circulatory structure means the entire veins as well as uh, that uh, what we can say that arteries uh, and all together so this uh, circulatory uh, system would be constricting and uh, blood flow to the uh, to the oxygen uh, sorry to, uh, to the uh, oxygen uh, sorry blood flow uh, to the uh, organs uh, which require minimum oxygen or uh, uh, less oxygen would be minimized and when more energy is required by the time we can see that this uh, uh, heartbeat uh, would be increased by that through the violent arteries the blood would be reaching to the particular tissues muscles and uh, organs on time so that means if the arteries uh, would be really widened that is the next point if the arteries would be really widened then we can see that cardiac output is also the part of uh, the same thing in relation with we can see that these two are considered so when one happens the other things are considered to be a complementary action so when cardiac output increases what happens usually the arteries also widen the blood pump pumping would be uh, really smoother so that is considered to be the volume of blood 
which is flowing out to the out of heart through the ventricle per minute is considered as cardiac output so usually cardiac output is 4.6 to 4.8 liter per minute so this is during exercise we can see that this volume gets increased so then uh, if it is increased that means we need another thing that is widened arteries artery should be really bigger if it is really small or contract, uh, sorry contracted or thickened by fat then the same movement will not be possible so through the regular exercise we can see that this arteries gets uh, widened and the blood pumping and the blood output or cardiac output would be getting increased as the last point we need to discuss that uh, increase in the blood flow as that is also connected with the fourth uh, point that uh, when the blood output increases what happens then blood flow also increases arteries would be widened and then when the blood flow would be uh, smoother or even in increased level what happens exactly that each and every muscles which are about to contract or which are about to produce which are about to twitch they will get more amount of oxygen or sufficient supply of oxygen uh, would be possible so but muscles would also would be getting torn uh, with the help of the same uh, production of oxygen so that's why we can see that exercise uh, during we do or uh, during this exercise or for a person who would be doing regular exercises this six changes happens to his heart as well as pumping system that means uh, we can say that this entire circulatory system so first one is increase in stroke volume stroke volume would be increased the beating of heart that is also second one is also connected with the same that is heart rate would be increased increased heart rate would be there at rest as well as at, uh, doing exercise during exercise again it will be a bit more then again uh, that uh, lower pressure uh, uh, would be there that uh, since the blood would be flowing faster as well as uh, would be circulating and uh, blood pressure lower blood pressure is possible only because of the rest three points that is cardiac output increases the blood volume that comes out of the heart is increased and that's why the arteries get widened and then again so the blood flow would be increased for the more uh, uh, blood flow we can see that that means uh, it would be reducing the fatty as uh, sorry the fat and uh, we can see that the blood pressure would be lower so all these uh, six factors are the six uh, major uh, changes that happens uh, with our body while we do regular exercise then when we take the next one on the muscular system so when we take the case of muscular system it is uh, there is nothing to be explained it is a very simple topic increase in muscle strength because we have already discussed about the strength of muscles as well as muscle toning uh, while we discuss about the strength and the flexibility okay then we can see that the first point that is increase in muscle strength so doing regular exercise would be increasing the muscle strength second one change in the shape and size of the muscles so the regular exercise it is not just getting increased fluffing of muscles but it is uh, said that the shape and size of the muscles would be getting increased or even more shape and uh, in a better size the muscles would be toned then third one it removes extra fat the extra fat of the body would be removed uh, through the regular exercises so sedimentation will be removed so but uh, at the same time that will be changed into uh, that uh, fiber formation then again fourth one that is muscles remain tall muscles uh, would be getting in intact shape as well as size and would be tall whenever it is needed to be stretched or twitch it uh, twitches and whenever it is needed to be rested to be contracted or to be relaxed in both the case muscles would be always ready so for every action that uh, uh, that uh, through the regular exercise a person who would be doing a uh, regular exercise or a person who would be toning his body through regular exercise would be toning his muscles in a better form then again muscle movement ability increases so his ability uh, of, a, of, of a person who would be doing regular exercise his ability to uh, movement especially for the muscle movement 
So we have, we know that uh, usually pulling of muscles or even uh, too much of uh, twitching or even stretching muscles sometimes uh, causes pain because uh, it uh, lags uh, or it uh, the the particular muscle was uh, uh, relaxed for a longer period and. Uh, uh, when it is done all of a sudden by the time we know that there comes pain so for a person who would be doing regular exercises toning his muscles his muscle movement capacity would be far, uh, more than a person who does not do exercise then again the sixth one that is proper shape to the body the inner body since the muscle would be getting in shape the body also would be automatically reaching into the shape then seventh one connective tissues become stronger so that we have already discussed that when we take the case of the twitching or contracting muscles then the tissues uh, which are in relation with one to the other it would be just getting maximum stretchability and that's why its uh, elasticity would be more and uh, stretching capacity and uh, uh, that uh, tissues also the stretching capacity as well as the strength of the tissue also would be more than the other muscles then again you can see that the eighth one that is that delays fatigue that is uh, a person uh, when we would be taking the case of uh, fatigue uh, we can see that uh, 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 what we can say that uh, 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 the, uh, the overproduction or the presence of uh, carbon dioxide or uh, lactic acid uh, 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 that uh, uh, phosphate so lactic acid phosphate or carbon dioxide phosphate these two uh, things uh, in our body that uh, creates fatigue and uh, that would be reduced so for a person who would be doing regular exercises the same carbon dioxide would be exhaled out carbon dioxide phosphate uh, would be just removed from the body as well as lactic acid phosphate also would be removed so we have already uh, seen that this, this uh, lactic acid tolerance is considered to be the part of endurance so since the endurance is just getting increased we can see that fatigue also would be just getting decreased then ninth one more capillaries form so to provide sufficient blood to each and every part we can see that the capillaries would be getting extended so this is only possible for a person who is doing regular exercise then again the last one that is correct body posture attain so while we walk while we sit or while we do some work the correct body posture is required to reduce that uh, wastage of energy so that's why we can see that a person who does regular exercise his body posture also would be in an, that condition so we can see that these are the 10 points increase in the muscle strength change in the shape and size of muscles removes extra fat then muscles remain taut then muscle movement ability increases then proper shape to body then connective tissues become stronger then uh, which delays fatigue then more capillaries are formed then correct body posture is attained these are the major benefits one would be getting uh, sorry uh, benefits are attained by the muscular system while doing a regular exercises then the last point that we need to or the last uh, topic that we need to discuss is physical changes due to aging so when we take the case of uh, aging we can see that certain things certain changes happen to our body as well as our different organs or different systems in our body first one we can see that decrease the physical strength endurance and flexibility this is a really common thing we can see that aging as the part of aging the reduction of strength endurance as well as flexibility happens with the body then next one we can see the decline in efficiency of our circulatory system the circulatory system in data uh, that means uh, usually uh, it uh, that uh, is uh, considered with the length capacity the length capacity would be a bit slower or even would be reduced that uh, length, since the length capacity would be reducing we can see that uh, along with that uh, the circulatory system that is cardiac system or the circulatory system also would be just getting reduced the speed of pumping blood pumping gets reduced so the, by that what happens that uh, the oxygen intake capacity also just gets down and moreover there is another thing that we need to uh, talk in uh, connection with the same change in the respiratory system that means lungs uh, lungs capacity 
to uh, what you can say that uh, to take uh, sufficient amount of oxygen also get decreased we can see that uh, lung capacity is uh, just uh, uh, based upon the elasticity of lungs so as the part of aging this elasticity uh, is uh, just reduced and by that oxygen intake capacity also gets reduced so that's why we can see that the carrying capacity of blood is also getting connected or uh, is also connected with respiratory system so that's why that uh, transportation also would be of lesser amount so that means all the body tissues will not be uh, getting uh, sufficient amount of oxygen at a time so uh, what happens that uh, weakens the muscles or that weakens the cells or that weakens the entire organs so this is the part happens with respiratory as well as uh, 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 respiratory and the circulatory system Next one, change in urinary uh, system. So we can see that uh, urinary uh, 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 system is uh, just getting change, which is considered as a normal change uh, as the part of aging. Then during uh, this aging, we can see that the mass of uh, kidney would be getting decrease and its decline in size and function that uh, would be uh, affecting the blood filtration as well as that decreases the chance of urinary infections or urinary uh, what you can say that uh, 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 infections uh, and related issues and that means pain in abdominal uh, abdominal portion as well as uh, the other symptoms that we have already seen with the urinary system that uh, it is uh, really troublesome for the body especially the people those who would be reaching into the age in such an age that means uh, 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 as the part of aging what happened the urinary system that means the capacity of uh, that is dependent upon the capacity of kidney the uh, capacity of kidney would be just getting reduced because the mass is reduced so the capacity of kidney is also reduced so its filtration capacity is getting reduced and by that we can see that the blood flow which is uh, to be filtered or the blood which is to be filtered time to time also would be just getting decreased so by that we can see that sufficient uh, intake capacity of uh, oxygen is also decreased with ox uh, sorry uh, blood we have already seen that the circulatory system uh, that blood uh, blood's capacity to carry oxygen would be getting decreased with uh, two cases that uh, one is with the respiratory system and in another one is also there because since it is not filtered much that uh, by the uh, by kidney so we can see that that is also another cause or another reason then fifth one we can see that uh, the changes that happens with skin so it gets become uh, it uh, uh, less uh, it becomes less elastic and uh, starts to wrinkle so wrinkle means wrinkling means uh, it is considered to be the most uh, common as well as noticeable thing with our body or the body change so due to the normal loss of uh, elastic tissue then and uh, excessive sun exposure or even smoking or uh, what we can say that uh, some kind of uh, critical issues so all these uh, things can we see that uh, that uh, we can see that the nerve uh, so, sorry the sweat glands uh, would be just getting wrinkled and the sweating capacity of the body also just getting wrinkled so the moisturing capacity of the skin losses so that means it is uh, just based on this uh, sweating glands sweating glands uh, would be just getting decreased or even the work uh, sorry its work would be minimized so by that we can see that that uh, moisture content on the body or the mo moisture content on the skin is also just getting re uh, re uh, reduced so that's why it becomes less elastic as well as it starts to wrinkle then again then six one we can see the loss of bone mass and uh, shrinkage so uh, that uh, bone uh, sorry bone mass uh, starts to get uh, reduced because of shrinking of uh, bones so it can be seen with the weakness uh, 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 with the weakness uh, for a long uh, 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 bone or otherwise uh, with the arms as well as thylacs when we would be just walking we can see that that uh, for the age of person his thigh muscles uh, sorry his uh, thigh bones as well as uh, or uh, when we would be doing some kind of work the uh, the bones in arms also would be uh, really making some uh, so, uh, sort of pain so it is not the muscles but inside the muscles that the bones also would be 
uh, start to uh, make uh, some amount of pain. So this is because of the shrinkage of bones. So as the bones start to sh uh, shrink, that uh, inside the portion, the bone mass also would be that uh, bone mass and the bone size also would, would be just getting decreased. So when it is just getting relaxed, we can see that the outer muscles also would be in relaxed form. So we can see that uh, it is uh, in some cases we can see that uh, it is severe with uh, some people, but uh, not with all. Then again, the last, second last point that is change in flexibility that we have already seen that the body's uh, ability to move and uh, the flexibility would be just getting degrees of the part of aging. The elderly person loses uh, the flexibility of uh, uh, the lower back as well as hip very fast. So when we take the case of this uh, range, the range of uh, uh, these joints uh, also would be uh, decreased. That uh, the range of joints means that uh, ability to stretch or uh, ability to just uh, contract or to pull something or to catch something tight, all this capacity would be just getting reduced because of the shrinking of bones as well as shrinking of muscles. And that's why we can see that the change of flexibility, that the flexibility also changes or getting reduced. Then the last point is change in nervous system. So uh, we can see that the number of uh, researchers, uh, we can see that uh, uh, and the studies, they show one thing that the reaction uh, of time, the, uh, the time reaction and the movement that uh, uh, makes uh, that uh, uh, that uh, slows down or uh, increases uh, sorry decreases the range of uh, nervous system also down. That means blood flow to the brain would be just getting uh, decreased with and uh, at the same time the age would be increased and the blood flow would be decreased. That causes the loss of or even the death of some of the cells that is part with the memory loss too. So it is uh, that uh, memory would be just uh, getting reduced over there. The loss of the long the things that uh, happened uh, before very long back uh, cannot be remembered easily, and uh, the motor uh, activity also would be uh, or uh, sometimes it will not be properly coordinated by the brain sometimes. So that uh, makes a hodgepodge in the brain. So that means it is uh, in connection with the efficiency of circulatory system. Since the efficiency of the circulatory system gets uh, reduced, we can see that most of the muscles, sorry, uh, the most of the cells in brain also just getting uh, in a uh, decreasing mode. That means the number would be decreased as well as the size would be shrunk uh, into, uh, into sh uh, shrinking uh, condition. And moreover, we can see that the coordination of the total body work uh, also would be decreased or badly affected. So these are the major changes that happens with age. So let's uh, conclude today. We will just discuss uh, the sports injuries in the next class. Till then, uh, be safe and sound at your home and uh, stay at home and uh, may good God bless you. Thank you.